Food Network is an American pay television channel that is owned by Television Food Network, GP, a joint venture and general partnership between Discovery, Inc., which owns 70% of the network, and Tribune Media, which owns the remaining 30%. Despite this ownership structure, the channel is managed as a division of Discovery Networks U.S. The channel airs both special and regular episodic programs about food and cooking. In addition to its headquarters in New York City, Food Network has offices in Atlanta, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, Detroit, Jersey City, Cincinnati, and Knoxville, Tennessee. 95 million households receive Food Network as of January 2016. History Food Network was founded on April 19, 1993, as TV Food Network. Its legal name remains Television Food Network, GP. The network shortened its brand name within a few years and discontinued the TV portion of the name, thus leaving it as Food Network. The network initially launched on November 22, 1993 with two initial shows featuring David Rosengarten, Donna Hanover, and Robin Leach. On November 23, 1993, Food Network launched its live broadcasting. It was developed by Rhys Schoenfeld, one of the founders of CNN, under the direction of Providence Journal President Trigby Merhan. Its original partners included the journal itself, Adelphia, Scripps Howard, Continental Cablevision, Cablevision, and most importantly, the Tribune Company, which provided the network's technical output. Schoenfeld, was appointed as Managing Director of TV Food Network and maintained a spot on its management board along with two Providence Journal employees. The original lineup for the network included Emeril Lagasse, Essence of Emeril, Debbie Fields, Donna Hanover, David Rosengarten, Curtis Akins, Dr. Louis Aran, Jacques Pepin, and Robin Leach. The following year, the network acquired the rights to the Julia Child Library from WGBH. In 1995, Schoenfeld resigned as managing director of the network, but remained on its board until 1998, when he sold his interest in the company to Scripps. In 1996, Erica Gruen was hired as the president and CEO of TV Food Network, becoming the second woman in history to be the CEO of a U.S. television network. Gruen led the network into an explosive growth until 1998, by launching the largest and number one site for food, foodnetwork.com, more than doubling the subscriber base, tripling the viewership and multiplying the network. S yearly revenue. In 1997, it was the second fastest growing cable network. Gruen changed the brand positioning from Schoenfeld's TV for people who cook to TV for everyone who loves to eat, thereby greatly improving the appeal to viewers and advertisers, and saving the network from bankruptcy. Greg Willis and Kathy Rosenberger were two of the original members of the startup team who led the affiliate sales and marketing of the company from 1995 to 1998. Greg Willis served as Senior Vice President of Worldwide Distribution until he left to join Liberty Media in 1998. The A. H. Bellow Corporation acquired Food Network when it purchased the Providence Journal Company in 1996. Merhan left the journal company the following year. Bellow sold the network to the E. W. Scripps Company in 1997, in a trade deal that resulted in Bellow acquiring the television radio station combination of Ken's AM TV in San Antonio, Texas. In March 2009, the Food Network launched a repurposed food.com as a bookmarking site that allows users to aggregate and search for recipes from different sources online. The 1080i high-definition simulcast feed of Food Network launched on March 31, 2008. Food Network was first launched outside of North America in the United Kingdom on November 9, 2009, and in Asia on July 5, 2010, on Starhub TV Channel 433 and in HD on Channel 468. Since the UK launch on November 9, 2009 on Sky, the channel has been added to the Freesat, Freeview and Virgin Media platforms. In January 2015, the Food Network collaborates with Snapchat and launches its own Food Network channel. Discover Food Network. Where social media users can watch the channel through the app. The channel features recipes, food hacks, and tips to entertain and appeal to the social media savvy millennials of today while watching from the palm of their hands.
Food Network Programming Food Network Programming is divided into a daytime block known as Food Network in the Kitchen and a primetime lineup branded as Food Network Nighttime. Generally, In the Kitchen is dedicated to instructional cooking programs, while Nighttime features food related entertainment programs, such as cooking competitions, food related travel shows, and reality shows. Promos identify Food Network Nighttime programming but not In the Kitchen. Daytime programming. Many of the channel's personalities routinely pull double duty, or more, hosting both daytime and nighttime programming, and the channel regularly offers specials which typically either follow its personalities on working vacations, or bring together a number of personalities for a themed cooking event. Food Network airs infomercials on Sundays from 4 o'clock to 9.30 a.m. E.T. Monday through Thursdays from 5 o'clock to 9.30 a.m. E.T., and on Fridays and Saturdays from 4 o'clock to 7 a.m. Eastern Time. The UK channel has a teleshopping window from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock, UK Time GMT, BST as applicable, daily. Mario Batali and Bobby Flay joined the network in 1995. In 1996, Erica Gruen, the network. SCEO, and Joe Langhan, an executive producer at the Food Network, created Emerald Live, which became the channel's signature series. Although Batali has moved on to other endeavors, Flay still appears regularly on many programs, including Iron Chef America, the channel's well-received remake of the original Japanese series. Iron Chef America S. host, Alton Brown, gained a cult following for his good eats, which mixed science, cooking and offbeat humor. In 2002, Food Network made an appeal to the home cook by adding Paula's Home Cooking, hosted by Paula Dean. Home cooking focused mostly on southern cuisine and comfort food. The show took overly complicated recipes and classic dishes and broke them down for the home cook. The show did increasingly well, and Dean revamped the show in a series called Paula's Best Dishes. In this series, friends and family members would join her in the kitchen and put a twist on classics and introduce new recipes. In June 2013, Food Network announced that they were not renewing Dean's contract due to publicity about her racial remarks revealed in a lawsuit brought on by a former worker, currently, the channel. S biggest crossover stars are Rachel Ray and Paula Dean, who have both taken their cable following primarily through the series 30 Minute Meals, $40 a day, and Paula's Best Dishes into a syndicated talk show and Positively Paula. Both Paula Dean and Rachel Ray also have merchandise lines of cookware, food products, and pet lines. Beginning in 2005, an annual reality contest, The Next Food Network Star, brought viewers to New York City to compete for their own show on the channel. Previous winners include Dan Smith and Steve McDonough, Party Line with the Hardy Boys, Guy Fieri, Guy's Big Bite, Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, Guy Off the Hook, Ultimate Recipe Showdown, Guy's Big Night, Guy's Family Feast, Guy. S. Grocery Games, Amy Finley, The Gourmet Next Door, Aaron McCargo Jr., Big Daddy. S. House, Melissa D. Arabian, $10 Dinners, and Artie Sequera, Artie Party. For the 2010 season, production of the next Food Network star was relocated to Los Angeles. It has become the network's flagship show. For most of its 13-year run, season finales of the show have been followed by lead-out shows the network deems has great potential and will draw even more viewers. These consist of either premieres of new shows, season premieres of continuing shows, or episodes of continuing shows that are significant to the schedule. For instance, the most recent season finale of Star was followed by the season premiere of Beat Bobby Flay. In December 2007, the New York Times Business Section published an article on the end of Emerald Lagasse. S. Show Emerald Live, and quoted Brooke Johnson, the president, as saying that Lagasse remains a valued member of the Food Network family. Derek Bain, senior analyst at the media research firm SNL Kagan, is reported to have commented, It's not surprising that people move on. They pay almost nothing for the people as they are building their careers. That 
has been their strategy all along. The article also commented on the declining popularity of the Food Network whose daily ratings were reported had fallen to an average of 544,000 people from 580,000 a year earlier. It noted, more significant, its signature weekend block of instructional programs, known collectively as In the Kitchen has lost 15% of its audience in the last year, to 830,000 viewers on average. This had left the network owing refunds, known as make goods. To advertisers, Erica Gruen, president and CEO of the Food Network from 1996 to 1998 who created Emerald Live during her tenure, was reported to have blamed the decline on increased competition, there s all sorts of instructional cooking video on the web. Quote dot. But it reported that Bob Tushman, Food Network s senior vice president for programming and production, said the weekend ratings drop was nothing we haven t anticipated. He said the network s ratings in that time period grew by double digits in each of the last four years, growth that could not be sustained. It also wrote, about a year ago, the Food Network began aggressively trying to change that with new deals that were way more onerous. From the star's point of view, said a person who has been affected by the changing strategy, by insisting on a stake in book deals and licensing ventures, and control over outside activities. Carriage Past American carriage disputes On January 1, 2010, HGTV and Food Network were removed from cable provider Cablevision, which operates systems serving areas surrounding New York City. Scripps removed HGTV and Food Network from Cablevision following the expiration of the company's carriage contract on December 31, 2009. Cablevision and Scripps had been in negotiations for several months to agree on a new contract, but no progress had been made. The discontinuance of Food Network from Cablevision led the channel to make arrangements with Tribune-owned CW affiliates WPIX in New York City and WTXX in Hartford, Connecticut to broadcast a special episode of Iron Chef America with First Lady Michelle Obama on January 10, 2010, after that episode enjoyed high ratings on its January 3 cable premiere. On January 21, 2010, Cablevision and Scripps reached an agreement that resulted in Food Network and HGTV being restored on Cablevision systems that day. A similar carriage dispute with AT&T Uverse resulted in Food Network, Cooking Channel, HGTV, DIY Network, and Great American Country being dropped by the provider on November 5, 2010. The dispute was resolved two days later, on November 7, 2010, after the two parties reached a new carriage agreement. UK and international in accordance with an agreement between Scripps and Cello Media, Food Network programs started to air internationally in the fourth quarter of 2009 in the United Kingdom and then in other markets in early 2010. Food Network UK initially launched on the Sky platform as a free-to-air channel, joined by a plus one-hour timeshift, taking the channel slots vacated by the closure of Real Estate TV. Following Scripps' acquisition of Travel Channel International, the four channel positions on Sky were reordered to move food network up the grid, Food Network and Plus One were subsequently also made available on the Freesat satellite platform. On terrestrial service Freeview, initially a four-hour primetime evening block was acquired, sharing capacity with channels including Create and Craft. Subsequently Food Network relocated to its own full-day service, with the four-hour berth used to bring Travel Channel to DTT. Travel has since itself moved to all-day operation, with the evening hours now absorbed into Create and Craft. Scripps subsequently signed a carriage deal with Virgin Media to bring Food Network and Travel Channel to the cable platform. In Travel's case this was a re-edition following its earlier removal from the cable platform. Food Network video game Red Fly Studio developed a video game for the Wii console in partnership with Food Network called Cook or Be Cooked. The game, which was published by Namco Bandai Games and was released on November 3, 2009, simulates real cooking experiences. Players can also try out the recipes featured on the game. There is also a video game based on Iron Chef America entitled Iron Chef America, Supreme Cuisine. Food Network Around the world Some countries have their own food network. Examples include, Food Network Canada, Food Network Asia, Food Network Italy and Food Network Europe.
In the second half of 2014, Food Network Brazil began broadcasting with programs fully dubbed in Portuguese and optional subtitles. On February 1, 2015, Food Network launched on Australian IPTV service Fetch TV. Food Network South America began broadcasting in March 2015 with full Spanish dubbed programs. A localized free-to-air Australian version was launched on 17 November 2015, owned by SBS which has a licensing and programming output arrangement with Scripps. Television Food Network, GP. In 2011, Scripps requested to add its cooking channel, formerly Fine Living Network, to the partnership and Tribune agreed. With the cooking channel considered to be worth $350 million, Tribune would need to add additional capital. See also Food Network, Canada Food Network, Australia List of programs broadcast by the Food Network The Food Network Awards References External links Official website Food Network Canada Food Network Europe Food Network South Africa Food Network UK SBS Food Network Australia